well, tourism in Palestine in general is uh, good, I can say. But uh, of course, it, it could be much better. Uh, the problem is uh, with uh, the control of uh, Israeli occupation and Israeli authorities on, on tourism in, in Palestine. Uh, they try their best to monopole uh, tourism through different ways, basically through uh, restrictions of, on movement of the Palestinians. So we are not free to, to move uh, in our country uh, because of the so many restrictions uh, that uh, we suffer from. Uh, this, of course, affects uh, badly the uh, tourism in, uh, in Palestine. Um, but in general, I believe uh, tourism is uh, is getting better and better uh, every year. Uh, uh, and we, as uh, the ATG, the Alternative Tourism Group, uh, uh, we we find uh, that more and more people are interested uh, in the Palestinian situation and then in the Palestinian-Israel conflict, and more people want to come and. Uh, uh, see the realities uh, on the ground. Uh, so uh, what we do uh, is that we offer the tourists the chance to uh, to meet with people, to meet with Palestinians, uh, to learn more about uh, Palestine, uh, not only the tourist uh, places and tourist sites, but also to, to see uh, uh, the situation on the ground, the, the, li how life looks like. Life under occupation, how it looks like, uh, and uh, the, the the restrictions, uh, uh, the checkpoints, the wall, the Israeli colonies, uh, all these things are covered uh, through our uh, programs. In addition, of course, to the cultural life of Palestine, traditions, uh, food, music, uh, most of these things are also uh, covered in, in our. Uh, programs. Uh, we've also focused more uh, on uh, um, giving the, the tourists a chance to, to see and meet with uh, refugees, which is, the, we believe, the, the core of the Palestinian cause, and to make them understand more about the Palestinian struggle for, uh, for freedom, for justice uh, to Palestine. Uh, and uh, we believe it's important for the tourists to uh, uh, to meet with people and to, to learn about Palestine, not only to come and visit uh, the places without uh, without learning anything about uh, about Palestine and Palestinians. It's important uh, to have the tourists see uh, and understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we have a lot of meetings in our programs, uh, 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 especially with. Uh, uh, normal people, uh, we have this program of uh, bed and breakfast uh, to, to give the chance to the tourists to, to stay overnight with, uh, with local families uh, to, to see our daily life, our traditions, and to also to support directly uh, the Palestinian community through this, this program. Um, the programs that we offer uh, uh, focus more on people. Yeah. Rather than on uh, uh, tourist sites, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, uh, in the re regular or normal uh, uh, tours that uh, are done by different travel agencies, uh, uh, the, the tourists, uh, you know, continue moving from one place to another, from one church to another. If they are coming as pilgrims. Uh, without learning anything about Palestine, without meeting people, without uh, uh, without even knowing that they are in Palestine, they most people think they are in Israel. So uh, our our programs are uh, uh, different because uh, uh, it, there's a big opportunity, and uh, uh, we focus on you know giving the chance to people, to tourists, to, to meet and talk to people and understand the situation, uh, understand about the, um, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, uh, understand uh, the life and the occupation, how it looks like. So uh, that's why uh, our programs are a little bit different mm -hmm. and more places of Palestine are included in, in our programs also. For example, a city like Hebron, 
uh, is never on the tourist map, uh, but uh, it's always in our programs because we believe it's important to see a place like Hebron where the Israeli uh, colonies uh, are uh, located inside the city of a Palestinian uh, town where, where you can uh, see with your eyes the, the, the daily harassment of the settlers in uh, the old town of uh, Hebron. You can see how the, the mosque uh, has been uh, divided, the Ibrahim mosque, it has been divided into two sides, you know, one and the other, the, 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 the part which is controlled by the Israelis uh, has been transported into a synagogue. So uh, you can see this, you know, conflict in, in one place altogether. Uh, so those those places like Hebron, Jenin, Nablus, uh, Ramallah, uh, they are always in our program uh, to be able to to see the Palestinians, Palestinian life, uh, and to meet with people and uh, understand more about Palestine. Mm -hmm.